Great. Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to a, a very um, new kind of Taos webinar, actually um, uh, a, a rare kind of Taos webinar. Uh, you've been used to now hearing a lot about uh, all the things that we do at Taos. But today we've invited uh, nine very brave people, I would say, um, who are joining us in Rome uh, in a few weeks, uh, presenting their amazing innovations, whether it's AI based or not. Um, it's a new world that we're living in uh, with AI popping up everywhere. We need to find out how it can help us, if it can help us and where maybe it doesn't help us. Uh, we need to keep innovating. Um, and this is what nine uh, the nine presenters today are doing. And they're very excited to share with you uh, what they have in store for you um, in Rome. Today we'll get a just a little sneak peek. Um, so it's a, it's really an elevator pitch. Um, but if you of course want to find out more what they're doing, join us in Rome or keep an eye on our socials where uh, I'm sure we'll post a bit more about this. Um, so we are um, short on time today uh, because we like to keep this very fast paced, uh, you know, pumping up the pressure for everyone. Uh, so I would say let's start um, Aradas with you kicking off the um, the elevator pitch for the massively multilingual contest in Rome. The floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for giving the opportunity. Hello, everyone uh, online. So uh, in Rome, uh, we are going to show you. I'm going to show you Evolve, which is a technology and process integrated way to have happier professionals, both linguists and customers. That's key. Yeah. Uh, and we all heard things like uh, generative AI can replace translations with a prompt, and everybody does prompting these days, uh, or that automatic post-editing uh, can reduce uh, low uh, knowledge tasks or things like that. But are you sure you've seen it working? Come join my session, uh, my presentation, if you want to see it. Uh, and uh, now everyone does AI, uh, of course, uh, but do you want to see something from production? with hundreds of millions of words passing through it securely? Do you want to see some statistics, some numbers? Because everybody loves reporting, especially at Taos, I think. Yeah? Uh, and all of this uh, should be as easy as clicking a button or maybe more to it. Come and let's uh, see what I have to say. Great, thanks. Um, on to you, Adam. Hi, everyone. Um, good afternoon or good morning. If you don't mind, I, I would like to talk about uh, some problems, maybe. Uh, actually, the one, the challenge that you probably see uh, and face as you run your translation operations, that is like delivering quality uh, under budget pressure with constraints. Um, machine translation is has a promise that uh, it solves this problem. And it is undistributedly cost efficient, but um, there can be issues with with the quality. And um, before the the large language models, um, the answer was yeah, some more effort that could help you with uh, actually adapting the domain and uh, getting it right with proper training. Now, MemoQ created um, an empty service that is based on large language models. And that actually leapfrogs this problem. So it leapfrogs the, the extra effort. It provides instant domain adaptation with terminology and context matched to uh, your domain. And um, yeah, I'm happy to share with you how it works and looks uh, in person in Rome. Great, thank you. Oscar, on to you. Uh, you're muted, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Hi, everyone. Um, in DAOs, we will be presenting our tool, like you see, that is a, just a player, but it's not a common player. It's, um, it's a tool that lets you reproduce as many videos as you want and streamline the quality report at the same time, uh, generating reports uh, in the live session that you that you can do. Um, it's a... Usually the, the industry, it's now reviewing videos one by one. So this is a very inefficient way of doing that. And this way you can do it by batches. You can you can review 20, 30 videos, you name it. Um, 
we found out that doing this, you can save 80% of the time in that task. So I hope that you join me in, in the in the contest and you will see a little bit more of how Flight QC works and all the benefits that it can have for a, for a, a media producer as, as local capture is. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, Martin. Hello, hello everyone. I'm a solutions engineer, which basically makes me a professional problem collector. And as such, I can tell you one thing, uh, no two problems are ever exactly alike in localization. And I also realized that uh, PMs and linguists understand their own problems better than anyone. That's only logical. So this makes them probably the most capable person to solve these problems. And that's why I created PromptLock. With PromptLock, they're just one prompt away from their own DIY solution. Whether it's for custom MT, term extraction, automated revision, QA, rephrasing and reformatting text, you name it, you'll have it. If you can describe what you need in a simple set of instructions, a prompt, and I think you can definitely do that, then PromptLock is ready to take your instructions and turn them into your own AI-powered solution. So see you in Rome. Great, thank you. Uh, Yevgeny. Uh, hi, uh, I come from the MT developer side. Uh, and uh, in many languages such as French and Czech, word forms may be inflected based on the speaker gender. And knowing the right gender is especially important for MT assisted subtitle translation. Sometimes there's not enough context to disambiguate who is speaking, male or female, and because of this, you see also gender bias when you use off the shelf MT. And in my presentation, I'll show how to automatically predict uh, gender from the audio signal with high accuracy and then use it as feature in a gender aware MT system so that the resulting translations are not only of high quality in general, but use accurate morphological forms. This allows us to avoid about 70% of gender-related errors, fixing gender bias. And uh, with the help of Aptex's new MT API features, we can assign these labels to subtitles or even subtitle lines, uh, although the MT system still translates full sentences sometimes with extra context. And all of this allows us to really directly translate subtitle file to subtitle file with intelligent line segmentation and especially this new gender feature helps to achieve a very good quality so that only a little post editing is necessary. So all the details I'll present in Rome. Great, thank you. Frederick. Hi everyone. Uh, so at TOS I'll present uh, you our AI driven content assessment tool. That's redefining the way we approach content compliance across various spectrums, uh, including diversity, equity, inclusivity principles, but also regulatory frameworks uh, that we have in life science. And what we see in today's interconnected world uh, are global teams struggling to create communications that meet diverse cultural inclusivity and legal requirements. So these challenges uh, often lead to oversight and non-compliance. And what I'll show you in Rome is our AI-powered automated text assessment and rating system for that. So it helps to save time to reduce the risk, to promote the creation of content that is not only compliant, but also accessible and respectful to a global audience. And currently it's a prototype, but uh, we have already applied it to real world use cases that I'll be more than happy to present in Rome. So see you there. Great, thank you. Ariana. You're muted, sorry, we cannot hear you. <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. Thank you. I am Ariana from Yanros Worldwide, and please allow me to present our Smart LQA. It is a system that is that allows for linguistic data management, customizable based on given linguistic strategies for specific clients. It consists of three modules, triggers, system objects, and reporting section. The LQA triggers launches the events, generates the LQA tasks. The reporting section serves for data analysis. It is based on our holistic evaluation tool. We can view the data per client, vendor, language per subject area, and more. The AI technology, it monitors the quality and results, and it adjusts the frequency of the checks. 
uh, if the quality is stable, the intervals can be longer. If the quality is decreasing, the checks get uh, more frequent. We use uh, the existing generative AI models, but we have also developed our all our own algorithm using large data sets from our projects. The smart LQA enhances the personal time and cost efficiency. Thank you. Great, thank you. Uh, Peter. Great. So, hi, I'm Peter. I'm the CTO of Structize AI. Um, basically, I have a PhD in AI and I've worked in the field for 15 years. But to be honest, I actually have had almost zero experience with machine translation. But when HubSpot approached us to detect mistranslations in a structured way, we actually discovered that we had built a very good critic for um, machine translation. So what if we could use this critic to evaluate and maybe even improve mach machine translation? And that is exactly what we did. So using advanced prompting and an iterative approach, we were actually able to build a better machine translation tool. And we integrated it into Excel so that it's actually really easy to use for everyone. You can also use it via an API. Anyway, if you are interested, just reach out to us at structize.com or come and meet me in Rome. Thank you. Thank you. And last but not least, Selva Gia. Yes. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. I'm Selva Gia Cerquetti, Language AI Research Manager Scientific. And in Rome, we will introduce Flow, our latest innovation in AI and localization. <clears throat> Flow is a self-serve DIY localization, AI localization platform, and it represents a significant change in how project managers and customers and users in general handle localization tasks. Um, it, it has the ability to manage AI tasks directly and efficiently, putting the users in, uh, in complete control of the process without the mediation of tech people, engineers, developers, etc. Uh, one of its most powerful features is that um, it gives people the possibility to edit and add new AI functions and prompts tailored to their specific needs, um, which means that they can shape the platform to fit their own unique requirements. And additionally, it um, users can also onboard their own customized models and, and leverage them. Um, so if you want to know more about it, join me in Rome. Thank you. Thank you. So those were the nine contestants. And I'd like to ask now um, my co-host uh, in Rome to also open up his camera, uh, Constantin Ranch. What do you think, Constantin? I have, we are having a, I think we're having a really interesting fight uh, on our hands. <laughs> the, the competition is very fierce. You keep you start calling it a fight already. It hasn't even started yet. <laughs> it, it needs to be needs to be uh, with a conflict in the mix. Otherwise, there's no story, right? Yeah. Well, I think this already explains to you how Constantine and I will be hosting it uh, in a few weeks live in Rome. We like to we have fun on the stage. Uh, we know that it's very. Um, uh, nerve wracking I think to be on the stage for just six minutes no Q&A there's a timer there um, that counts down so you know when time is about to run out, run out you, you may still have a lot still to uh, to talk about um, so Constantine and I are there to try and um, calm you down help you through it make a few jokes here and there uh, but um, Overall, I think this uh, contest on innovation is um, is always a very uh, appreciated part of the Taos conferences. Uh, we've been doing it for um, many years now, uh, and I'm I'm so happy to see new innovations, um, use cases popping up each time we host it. Um, so I'm quite excited to um, to see you all in Rome and to see indeed how this plays out. See what the people in the audience. Um, are interested in most or what maybe uh, addresses uh, the question or the, the challenge that they've been having for months. Um, Constantine, I don't know if you if there's anything else that you'd like to share. No, you're the good cop, I'm the bad cop. Oh yeah, yeah, that's another rule that that we've we've had. I'm 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 uh, the, the sweetheart and, and Constantine is the well, you can fill in the word yourself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. 
Great. Well, so, thank um, you. Just quick feedback from the last time. Uh, yeah, well, last time for me, uh, previous time for me, obviously, and my, you've done the the, the Japanese uh, uh, conference since then. Uh, six minutes is usually a hard stop. So I will look uh, into your eyes and uh, motion. You can still finish the sentence. Uh, and uh, and my and I will be uh, given an indication when your time is running out, running out. You also have the timer at the bottom. Um, I'll try to make uh, jokes which are uh, uh, poignant enough to uh, uh, to get the audience excited, uh, but without uh, stepping on your shoes. So uh, I'll play the role without uh, uh, really uh, getting under your skin. But uh, feel free to motion or to, to counter joke so that we have an interplay. It needs to be dynamic, needs to be a little bit of a show. Great. Uh, and my, uh, did you explain uh, how, how, the, how, how to win? How to win? How to well, win. First of all, of course, you have to have the best idea. You have to <laughs> give all the, uh, the details, I think, as many details as you can uh, in your six minutes uh, of course, the people like to know what um, what are the, what is the ROI? What use does it have to uh, is it to them? And what can they save? Can they save money? Can they save time? Um, that's I think um, some of the information that you definitely need to include. Also, fancy slides or videos. Of course, people are attracted to that, um, but that doesn't take away from, of course, the idea um, or the use case. So. Um, but of course, there are also some audience members here in the room. And um, if you uh, have already heard an idea that you think this is so interesting, I want to help this person win, you can probably reach out to them on LinkedIn and give them some more tips of what you'd like to see because you are an audience member. You are in charge of voting for the... Everyone for the, will vote for themselves, for the, I hope. Well, but uh, Constantine, we're not uh, alone in this room here today. We have some audience members. So they can vote uh, for also for anyone here in um, on the on the virtual stage. Um, yeah, good. Um, I think that was it. It was just a, a chance for you to introduce yourself to the world, not just the attendees in Rome. Get the ideas on a on a wider platform. But we're very excited to see the um, the full presentation in Rome. Um, and um, I wish you good luck with the further preparations, lots of rehearsals, timing the <laughs> timing your talks. Um, and um, yeah, see you all in Rome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bring it on. Bye, guys. Bye-bye, guys.